Hey, Dustin here from Retro Supply, and today we're going to make a retro style t-shirt mock-up in Photoshop. It kind of looks a little bit like this. And I've also included the textures that you can download in the description below so you can follow along. So enjoy the tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate something just like this that looks like a close-up of a t-shirt mock-up. Great for showing to clients what their design will look like on a t-shirt or for using on a page where you're selling your own t-shirts. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is delete everything here and start from scratch. And then I'm going to paste in my artwork first of all. So I'm going to go to Illustrator and I've got this bird here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste this guy into Photoshop and resize him to a size that I like. There we go. Okay, so the next thing is, well, let's rename this to Blackbird. So the next thing is we're gonna add the color of the t-shirt. So we'll just go down here and select create new filler adjustment layer. And we're gonna choose solid color and then we're going to pick our actual color. So I'm gonna go for kind of a slightly muted red color. We like that, I like that, that's good, okay. So we go for that. So that looks good, but we need to add a t-shirt texture. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a t-shirt texture in here. So I got this, which I'm gonna provide for you so you can just download it and uh, do this yourself too. So we place this in and then we're just gonna resize it to fill up the whole canvas. That looks good, press enter. So this is a good t-shirt texture. Problem is that it has taken away our color because it's blocking it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to our blending modes here and a great blending mode for this is linear light. So we click on that and just like that, this is looking pretty much like a t-shirt here. So I'm gonna lower the opacity a little bit because it's a little intense. Um, but you see like uh, right around like, there we go, I like that. Okay, so 60%, it's looking good. So we are surprisingly almost done here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to select our artwork and we're gonna create a folder and we'll just call it artwork, put our bird in it and then we are going to place into that this ink roller texture and this is a actual it's pretty cool I bought a bunch of ink rollers that you uh, actually this might be like a screen printing texture like I might have actually used a screen to do this anyways it's either an ink roller or a screen um, that I pulled can't remember which but it has a great t-shirt texture effect so we get this in here and then here is the magic part so we're going to turn those off and then I'm going to select First, I'm going to rasterize this layer. So rasterize smart object, then I'm going to go to select color range. And I have it selected to highlights, fuzziness, 50%, and the range at 255, I'm going to say okay. And then I can literally just delete that, push command D to deselect, and then turn all this stuff back on again and then here is the cool part. So I'm just going to right click on this texture and I'm going to go to blending options. And then I'm going to choose knockout shallow. And then check this out. We just lower this opacity. Pretty sweet, right? We just lower it down and just like that, we got it. So there we go. We've just created a really fast t-shirt mock-up in Photoshop. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Want to make getting this effect even easier? Grab Retro Tee from the Retro Supply shop. It includes easy to use Photoshop templates and textures. You can find a link in the description below. Talk to you later.